Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us write the Python program to print the Fibonacci triangle. Before that, let us see the Fibonacci series. As we know, Fibonacci series is a sequence of integers formed by adding previous two numbers. Here, the first two numbers 1 and 1 are the initial numbers. Then the subsequent numbers 2 is formed by adding 1 plus 1 and 3 is 1 plus 2 and so on. With this Fibonacci series, we will be able to make the Fibonacci triangle. Let us take a Fibonacci triangle of row 4. So we want to make a triangle of 4 rows and it shall look like this. The first row has first number of Fibonacci series and the second row has the next two numbers. Third row has three numbers and the fourth row has the four numbers from Fibonacci series. The algorithm to have uh, print this Fibonacci triangle is very simple. It has just four steps. First, we will uh, orally understand the algorithm before implementing it in Python. The first step is to get the uh, row number of rows needed for the Fibonacci triangle. And the second step is to using this row calculate the number of Fibonacci series based on the formula row into row plus 1 whole divided by 2. The third step is to get the series of numbers for uh, the n identified in step 2. Step 4 is to print the series in each row. Uh, each of these steps are more or less single line uh, and it is easy algorithm also. So let me consider the size or the row of size 4 for Fibonacci triangle. That's step 1. On getting this row, we will be able to calculate the number of Fibonacci series that is n which is arrived by applying row into row plus 1 whole divided by 2. Uh, at this uh, level, let us try to print the value of n and see our result. The value is 10. So, to have a Fibonacci triangle of row 4, we should have 10 numbers. That's what this capital N indicates. On knowing the uh, number of Fibonacci series needed to have the triangle of row 4. We will proceed to get the 10 numbers and store it into the list. Let us initialize the list series with 1 and 1 which are nothing but the first two numbers of Fibonacci series. Let me start a for loop running from 0 to capital N. The N is the Calculator number of Fibonacci series needed to print the triangle of size 4. Uh, we will come back to this uh, range 0, n sooner. At this moment, we will proceed by calculating the subsequent number in the series by adding the last two numbers in series. That is series minus 1 plus series minus 2 and append the num to the series list. Let us print the uh, list series here, uh, which is the result of step 3. We should have got 10 integers in the list. But we have more than 10 integers, almost 12 numbers we have. This is because in the for loop, we are starting i in the range 0 to n. But already the series has two numbers. So we should start from 2 to n. Again executing. We got the needed 10 Fibonacci series in the list. Which shall be used to print the Fibonacci triangle of row size considered as 4. So the fourth step is now to print the Fibonacci series in the triangle form. So here let us initialize uh, the variable num equal to 0. 
this num shall be used as the index for our items in the series list so start a for loop i ranging from 0 to row here row taken as 4 and within each row let us run for j up to i plus 1 so now print the a series with index of number which is initialized as 0 and have a space uh, by default print will give a new line statement and we don't want that new line statement within the row so let me end equal to null character increment the num before uh, uh, next one at the end of each row we are calling the print which will bring a new line statements on executing we got the Fibonacci triangle which is of a row size 4 as we have considered in our algorithm. So we got the Fibonacci triangle for size 4. Now let us see for size of 5 and the same algorithm is working perfectly and we got the output in our terminal. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed and click the like button. Also share with your friends.